This is the secret diary of Daz of the Soul Surti. Written and expressed by DJ Swell 69. Enjoy the swellness of it. This video was brought to you by Agnes's sexual lubricants. A natural Australian made way to wet your cunt. Watch out for the new range of pedal lubricants. Anyway, in with the show. Yo dudes. It is I, Anna, one of the swellest surfer dudes in Wackville. But that's nothing compared to my huge foot fetish. I really 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 love sexy, smooth looking bare feet. And surprise surprise, I happen to have some sexy smooth looking bare feet right here. Yeah my feet are so fucking hot and wacky that it bears repeating, haha. Ha. And it's no lie that I have the smoothest sexiest feet in this crazy outback town, nearly every person with a affection comes ha ha ha, comes to gaze lovingly at my pan pancakes. And you can get all my new onion buddies, get rewarded with my wacky little famous foot massages that moistens their genitalia every time, and then we totally go full circle on my soul scrub the chest, while they cut off my bonzo 100 mile long cock until I blast a white riptide from my long boob tube and it's just so bonzo as well. In fact, I love to have some private moments to sneak into Birdwind's new factory and have some swell sexy mega stomp stomp toe jam orgies with Birdwind's workers and guards. Ironically the big um, little man Birdwind himself is a foot asshole. Plus I heard that Birdwind's permanently butt hurt because his new factory only existed to facilitate the unswell plans of Chris Hansen to obliterate podophilia in Bushtown and when said plans went down the toilet, so did Birdwind's profits. Too bad the child chasing midget fuckers dead, I heard he has some swell sexy little people feed a haha. However, there's one of Erdwin's mates that I don't give soul service to and that's our mayor and total tyrant bitch of a school teacher, Mrs. Simonovich. Her two mutations that she calls feet happen to be the most scariest things to support a human body and I wouldn't be caught dead touching those erg things. Even her dastardly deck of a grandchild, Missy, won't do near them. Speaking of which, Missy has some amazing meat cushions that despite their smell, I wouldn't say no to going around the world on them. In fact, her foot zapper makes my love pad all the stiffer. It's a damn shame she was a closeted lesbian that won't let boys get near her and her feet. Hope that revolting reader Repulsa and a Repulsa Republic are enjoying her feet. But there's my soul slash sis or sis flick, who has the cutest pair of tender toes that I just love to tickle and fondle with my sweaty hands in our sibling bonding moments. I don't really go beyond fingers and toes with her, because like Missy, Flick is also a little lesbian. And yes, all that jazz said about Flick being a Japanese love doll brought to life for her sexual enjoyment was true, but there's actually a reason why I adopted Flick as my sister that I'll go into in a moment. Speaking of that swell city slicker jazz Mitchell, oh sweet dill is her she has so sweet. Me and my mate Martin have made her welcome in Wackville since she's being punished by her prudish parents and when she gets all the oops I mean flu hurt from not understanding our arse backwards Wackville ways I soothe her tensions by massaging her great gift from Lewis and Doe and blemish her fee 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 nar. But you know, I feel the real tension since I have no chance on earth to tow her jolly access only private parts as yes, she's a muff muncher as well. One time I got so sexually aroused by her pen pancakes that I sold fuck her sneakers until I droned them in my love some cream. I don't think she's aware of the incident, haha. <laughs> the last I heard from Jazz Mitchell that she was giving bunion and beaver service to her permanent fuck buddy not a mitt. Speaking of Jazz's fuck buddies, you know that rarely seen Shelly who only appeared in some of the episodes? Well I heard she also happens to be a podophiliac. Plus I might get to feel her feet soon, as I heard she's joined up with Liddell Dunn. How swell's that? Oh I haven't left out Martin, but I'm still kind of sore at him since he may be a smart kid, but he's close minded with it comes ha ha ha, comes to the pedal persuasion. A shame too, because he has some awesome jackrow feet. Since he's now a member of the Barney Lunch and such a group of poopy faggots, have some footsters in it, maybe there's some heel hope for Martin after all. Though I'd better wash my arse when I'm around him, ha ha ha. Oh by the way I'm a bisexual. Now as you heard, in the secret missing episode of Wacky Live became a member of the Australian branch of the Ketchum clan, and whoa dude, it's like a total smorgasbord of pancake breakfast morning, noon, or night. I go through all the tender toes of my Ashi Aussies every day, as well as all the other branches. But what makes being in the Ketchum clan so swell is that I have more time away from boring our schoolwork to follow my passion of surfing. In fact, I established a surfing school. Some of my best students at said school are Daphne Toenails Blake and Kara Top Edison. In fact that leggy leggy Daphne is now surf instructor thanks to my wisdom. Plus she's just so damn good at flogging me off with her pink nylon pinkies until said nylons get an instantaneous color change to white. I had a thing for Daphne as a young boy, ha <laughs> ha. But the reason why I established a surfing school for footsters is so I can work on the new experimental sport that I've been working on. Soul surfing. Now what is soul surfing? Well glad that you asked. Soul surfing is just like regular surfing except that you use your pedal partner as your surfboard. This gives you such a swell rush as you give a swell soul scrub to your human or anthropomorphic animal, oh heck, even real animal surfboard as you feel that swell adrenaline rush. The swellest thing about soul surfing is that you don't have to have wild surf at the beach to do such a swell thing, you can do it in calm waters. Oh sweet this you can do it on dry land by just having your partner land his or her back. 
Now you may be asking why I carry a surf ward since I use sentient being that surf wards. Well, this little baby is my prized possession. It's 100 years old, maybe even older, and it's been stepped on by so many sheet and it has the sheet sweat and odor of said many sheet. I went through a major bidding war with Tim Bailey from Channel 10 News and once a host for the Australian cartoon show The Big Breakfast and that skank bitch Paris Hilton. Tim Bailey, a fellow surfer, has some sexy smooth feet, by the way. Paris Hilton, um, I must apologize in advance, not so much. Speaking of apologies, DJ Swell69 apologizes for those gay arse logos in the secret missing episode of Wackyville. DJ Swell69 didn't have a chance to record any episodes when it aired in Australia and the best he could manage with his Russian dub and a Hebrew dub of Wackyville that's on YouTube. Wackyville hasn't been released outside TV after all these years, at least, not in English, erg. But enough fourth wall breaking. I had to get a hold of that surfboard, it would be a crime against humanity for Paris Hilton to defile a swell relic with those so-called feet. Now the only source of income I have is the dole from Centrelink. Not even close enough to beat that Paris Hilton. But I begged Jazz Mitchell for me to adopt Flick as my sister. Jazz was still shocked after Flick became a real human from a less sex toy. She agreed after I surrendered all my copies of Foot Fetters magazines that featured women. So yes, Flick is my sister, because I get lots of it all, but Flick doesn't get bitchy about it, as when she's not having food or G's with Jazz Mitchell and her anti Agnes, she's having her way with all the female bush animals around Blackville. Plus I got Jazz and Martin to chip in with their old checks and bobs. Your uncle I was victorious over that damn Hilton war. We had to live without foot porn, lesso porn, and Lilith knows what Martin fets off over, but thanks to the swell power of friendship and potophilia, this surf ward is mine. And that's pretty much it my fellow tow troops. Now if you excuse me, I gotta get going to- Oh hey there, it's my little sis Flick. Yo Flick! What's up sis? Hey there my bait bunion brother, sorry for interrupting your much needed secret missing diary, but I came ha 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 came across this half grey color half camouflaged living skeleton in a marine hat who was looking for you. I told that herb, bony man that you went away with that ranger kangaroo and purple haired man and he got all bunkered about it. Just thought I'd let you know. Anyways I'm gonna have a swell sexy neko needy orgy with some frisky feline members of the Betty Bunch. See ya around. Okay sis, go have fun. Living skeleton? That high oxen ring of hers is working overtime. Too much titty milk I reckon. Well I better head oh, what do you know, Flick wasn't bullshitting me, there's a weird skeleton like creature heading my way. Hello. My name is Rito Revolto the most potterific skeleton in the entire M51 galaxy. Oh, so you're the guy who's been looking for me? Ah yes, in fact I came ha ah, ah, ha ah, came to Wackville to recruit you into our swell potophiliac group the Penny Bunch, but I was told by your sis or sister that you'd left and I've been looking for you everywhere. Is that right? Well I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but I've long joined the Ketchum clan and love every mandible molesting moment of it. So I'm afraid that just like when you left Wackville for nothing, you were leaving this video with nothing. Ah, uh, uh, on the contrary. I haven't left the hick town empty-handed. I managed to recruit an Aussie into the Penny Bunch, and not just any Aussie. Villa Obotte, it is I, your school teach Mrs. Zimanovich, and yes, I'm a member of the Penny Bunch. The sexy sexy Penny Hill has always been my favorite comedian. What? My try to pitch the teacher. A member of a potophilic group. Well, that's no pity. Those double abortions, that's the mom of the chef. Well, they'll compliment those only sheet of yours, Rito. Ha ha. Ha you little brat. Laugh now, but my little M. Handicap is something that made made a Newton fix up with the magic. Just like how my traitorous granddaughter Missy's feet got fixed up by magic spell from the Reposer Republic, eh? But anyway, Pasa, there's actually something else that me and Mrs. Simonovich were after, and that would be your surfboard. My, my surfboard? Fuck chance I'd let you any bastards take my surfboard! And I'll be you for concave but or you'll be in detention for a year. Uh, actually, bitch, I decided to drop out of school to follow my passion of being a foot model for Foot Factors magazine as well as a teacher of soul surfing. And besides, you can't sell to pry my surfboard from my bare hands! You know that not such a bad idea, Peter flung his ass. No problem. He blasts me, you little bit more. No eight old rings. What the fuck? Not again. Damn you, boss, you old legend cunt. <laughs> Oh fucking sweet shitty dildos, I can't believe I was beaten by some Aussie teenager. No 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 this is not swell at all. Ha 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 ha. The surf war is mightier than the sword. Cass you you little juvenile delinquent.
You want this time, but see Benny Bunch will stand on you in your precious kitchen clan, and your safeboard will belong to us. Come on Rita, sell your oil little catch fragrance and let's get out of here. Um, Mrs. Simonovich, it's next to impossible to say my catchphrase when the vid after said catchphrase involves me being on my feet. Yes, we do this. Hey Baza, I was wondering where the flying dildes you were, because oh wait, it's the Benny Bunch. Time to show these Benny Bums who's boss. Oh Mamas, well it's Daphne Blake. Don't worry about those two. That Simonovich is gonna be too busy putting Bone Brain back together. Ha <laughs> ha! But anyways, I was actually looking for you so that we can start today's soul surfing lesson, thus giving all of us that mandatory soul satisfaction you get in nearly every secret missing diary. Wink. Well, Baza, this is such a swell time, as I got some more recruits that are interested in taking up soul surfing. Come ha ha ha, come out and meet the master soul surfer himself. Hey, Baza. It is I, Arnold Shortman. And I so look forward to being a soul surfer, so that I can ride my Bunyan Buhelga G-Spot Panicky, as my surfboard, hatata. <laughs> Kamichiwa, my name is Shinji in Kari, and obasa son, the idea of soul scrubbing my lover's chest hairs, while hanging ten is so swell. And I must request in advance that I don't have an erg woman as my surfboard, as I'm also a poopy faggot, for those who've forgotten. Roger, my name is Abdelaradia, and I will be your surfboard for this well sexy lesson. And don't worry, Shinji, odds are the salt water will wash away all the girl germs from my foot hungry chest. <laughs> and on the subject of who's riding who, why don't you Baza and Arnold ride me, as I'm the oldest in the group? Does that sound swell? Oh, Roger. That's swell indeed. Now, my fellow students, jump on your partners and let the rubbing rumpus begin like rude, 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 this dried landscape into an inland beach complete with waves with our tsunami foot sweat like swas was 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 Oh, I remember now. I was trying to brainwash Jasmine Mitchell and her muff munching hotties with that invention. That high mystic is the YouTube mind alterinator, but I ended up resurrecting the Australian and US version of Kath and Kim. Berg. Well then Jasmine, Martin, and the sexy sexy little love doll flick, you've done it this time. Forget taking your young fragile innocence, I'm just gonna plain kill the fucking lot of you. No one makes a fool out of Burgoyne. Now to get back to my shoe factory and plot my oh hold on, who's that buff looking bloke heading my way? Day there Mr. Burgoyne, my name is Rufus B. Hardacre. Rufus Hardacre? Oh yes, Rufus. You're that conniving greedy hotel owner from the local cartoon series Crocodoo. You so happen to be my favorite character. Why thanks Mr. Burgoyne, glad to hear that from someone who recognizes the image of physical perfection, ha <laughs> ha So, what brings someone like you to this small outback town? Thinking of building a super resort here? You don't have to worry about any trouble from crocodiles around these parts, but I'll warn you that the hottest kids around here have joined several Speakonia groups so don't expect the pickings to be easy so to speak. So, oh, that lovely Lezo Jazz Mitchell and that now faggot Jackaro Martin? Well anyways Mr. Burgoyne, no, I'm not here to build any hotels, and you may have noticed that I left out Buzzer the Soul Surfy from the start of the sentence. Well, that's because said Soul Surfy is now one of my enemies. Buzzer is your enemy? How come? Well you see mate, Buzzer is a member of the Ketchum Clan's Australian branch. The Ketchum Clan are our eternal enemies, and it is our mission in Nomam, of which I am a Bonza member of its Australian branch by the way, to rid the Speakonia community of those inferior footsters, so that our mandible master Al Bundy can claim the title of the biggest podophiliac in the universe, the way it was meant to be, ha ha ha. What? You are a podophiliac? You'd be bang that's lender soul, an underage, asshole simultaneously on right there. In fact Mr. Burgoyne, it was us in Nomam who resurrected you, so that we can indoctrinate you into Nomam. As we heard, that you so happen to have some smooth ass midget feet. 
Also, since you had a shoe factory, we can combine our entrepreneurial skills to add cash that blasted stew pickles. It'll be the foot fucking business. Ha ha ha. No fucking way you sick fuck. I'm not joining some group of pedal pansies. In fact I'd be totally surprised I didn't develop a phobia of feet after being killed by feet. Berg. Now just fuck right off. I got a shoe factory to run. Oh didn't you hear the past tense in the sentence? I hate to break it to you, but your shoe factory is no more. Shortly after Buzzer was indoctrinated into the Ketchum clan, that meddlesome bush kangaroo along with Stu Pickles destroyed your factory, Buzzer said the Tysaws like this were oppressive to pedal kind, and you can't really blame him, ha <laughs> ha Uh, no, you're, you're fucking lying, you don't know what you're talking about, M, I, I better check up on my factory. <laughs> Ay 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 No. No. My livelihood. Gone. Damn you buzzer, you're just as dead as that bitch Jasmine and Martin as well. Well then Mr. Burgoyne, you believe me now? But don't think you're alone, I'm on your side. I wanna take that beach bum buzzer down as much as you do, plus his meddling ketchup cretins. Hey there Rufus, how's the indoctrination of our potential Aussie footster doing? A dot? Rufus you sly dog, you have a dot in your group? Why yes, this dot happens to be the leader of the Australian branch of Nomam. In fact, let me show off some other Nomam members. Wink. Hey my name is Kevin from Crocodoo, and I happen to be the love slash loafest child to my show slash so daddy Rufus Bumstead Harper. Ha ha ha. Why hello there Mr. Burger, my name is Brittany Taylor from MTV's Doria. <laughs> Yowdib, why is this called the land down under, when we haven't fallen off the ceiling? Don't tell me, you must be that sexy sexy Drago Kelly Bundy, the daughter to Al Bundy. Yowdib, yes you can Oompa Loompa who is suffering from the diligo, it all sounds swell. Ah uh, yes, all the sexy rumors have been verified, ha <laughs> ha So, I see you're enjoying this swell sexy mutant pancake buffet. I had a feeling you'd need some motivation. Join us Mr. Burgoyne, and your vengeance against Buzzer and those babbling brats is assured. Ah yes! Burgoyne you sexy little person you rarely see meat cushions will be given the proper respect that they so deserve. Oh yes yes yes! It would be totally swell to have those feet scrub my extra bouncy tits while I whack off Lil Kevy's penis with my tender toes until we fire that team spirit all over our love muffins. And let's not forget that I'm happy to give you some child chasing satisfaction along with my dumpling daddy Rufus, providing that Britney Taylor and Kelly Bundy make a real run out of me with their fee feet. What do you reckon Kelly? Yeah, yes you can thong wearing version of Vinny Q from my god a rocket. Australian human version of Ulysses Farrell from SWAT Cats, animated version of Juliet from Lollipop Chainsaw, oddly dressed Australian version of Raggedy Ann, and one of the executive members of the Lollipop Guild from The Wizard of Oz. It all sounds swell. Well just as I expected, young, dumb, and hopefully full of my cum, but why not? I've always been a little curious about foot fetishism and I reckon it wouldn't hurt to try it out, especially with these young hotties. Wink. <laughs> Come in, spinner. This is just Bonza Swell. Now let's get your indoctrination started. <laughs> your shoe factory managing days are over. <laughs> Manager, I'm surprised Drew Pickles didn't visit you. <laughs> Ro Burgoyne soul scrub my rip pectorals. <laughs> Little Kevy too my jar jar jerry me like normal Kevy does. <laughs> Foot peppers and newer friends. <laughs> yeah, yes, you can. Australian non emo version of Ruby Gloom. It all sounds swell. <laughs> I'm no emo, but I'll do it to you for sure, Kelly. <laughs> now, time for the sweet, sweet release. Hey, 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 Bug. Uh, that was the swellest thing ever. Having a toe jam orgy with underage kids and teens is the business. From this day forth, I'm a podophiliac, and I will be a soul servant to the true biggest podophiliac in the universe, Al Bundy. The way it was meant to be. Like my corn cobber said. But anyway, to Buzzer and the Kitchen Clan, Jasmine Mitchell and Martin, you best watch out, because Burgoyne's back baby. 
and this time, there'll be no more holding back. Now let's head down to Centrelink, so I can claim that both Kelly and Brittany are my twin children, so we can get more doll money. Hooroo foot thappers.